FIBA 3X3 World Tour is just one stop from the final. Rio de Janeiro plays host to the last chance for two more teams to gain their place on the road to Abu Dhabi. Coming up, we meet the man who's gone from the streets to the world stage. In a football mad country, Ismar makes sure he finds the back of the netto. There's some fast moving action to capture the fast moving action. And it's baskets, blocks and dunks all the way to crown the Rio Masters. The last Masters of the FIBA 3X3 World Tour is at the Parque dos Patins, a popular park situated just next to Lagoa in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's the final chance for 12 teams to battle for a $10,000 check and a place in the World Tour Final in Abu Dhabi. Rio plays host to the sport that has its roots in the parks and the streets, playing on half a court with one hoop over a 10 minute period or to 21 points with a 12 second shot clock. It's the last chance for urban action in the FIBA 3X3 Rio Masters. FIBA 3x3 basketball is renowned as being a fast-paced sport, which can present problems when trying to capture the action, as Brazilian stills photographer Marcelo Moray explains. To be a good photographer on 3x3, you need to know everything about photography. It's, you need to understand the speed of the sport. You need to understand the technique to change the settings of the camera really quick. While these guys on 3x3 on are really fast. These guys are faster than Formula 1. Uh, they think really fast and the challenge to, to shoot three on three is to follow, follow what they are doing, what they are thinking. That's the main challenge to understand where the ball is going and what they are trying to do with the ball. That's the main challenge to, is to follow the speed of the sport. Day one showed that the seeding was spot on. There were just two minor upsets. First, the Brazilian number 11 seeds from Anchieta won a tight defensive battle 12-10 over the 10th seeded Argentines from La Plata. Rodrigo Suarez scored his team's only two-pointer. Later in the day, Gustavo Braco top scored with five points to help the fifth seeds from Pelotas upset fellow Brazilians and third seed Santos 13-11. So in Pool A, number one seeds Novosad Alwada eased into the quarterfinals to be joined by the Brazilian number 11 seeds Ancheta. In Pool B, second seeds Rio Preto, appearing in their second successive World Tour tournament, easily qualified ahead of eighth seeds Chicago. Pelotas, with their upset of Santos, topped Pool C, with both Brazilian outfits through to the quarterfinals. And in Pool D, the home team, fourth seeded Rio, qualified ahead of Uruguay's seventh seeds, Montevideo. With 11 points from day one, a key member of Team Santos is Ismar Neto, who being Brazilian, grew up with the beautiful game, soccer. As uh, the culture of Brazil, they love soccer. So, uh, as a Brazilian, I used to love soccer too. And then, uh, I don't know, I think my dad, he started showing me basketball things because he played when he was younger. And then when I went to school, uh, I started playing in school. My coach from my, my what, what they call it, my junior school, he started showing me basketball, he started showing me how to, how to play, all the skills you need, and then he started showing me videos of basketball like Michael Jordan and people from that time. Having played basketball at junior college in the USA, Ismar loves the culture of 3x3. The culture thing is amazing. You got music playing, you got people that become your friends, so you're always playing with the same guys, you get, you get to know them. And the game is so different than five on five court, the five on five basketball. So it's faster. You gotta be smart. You gotta use your brain to play, and that makes that makes the game more important, more beauty to watch. So I love this. The main my ambition on the three and three is to get where the Novi Sad of the team is to be the number one, and to show that Brazil we do have basketball and we do play really well as people from Europe or anywhere in the world. With that, we are not just soccer players. We can play basketball. 
Bismar and his teammates on the number three seed Santos met fellow Brazilians Rio Preto in the quarterfinals. The number two seeds had fallen at this stage in the previous World Tour event in Mexico, and in a tight defensive battle, history repeated itself. Santos running out winners 13-10. Elsewhere, number one seeds Novosad Alwada eased past Montevideo 21-12 with Dusan Domovic Bulut adding six points to the winning score. First of all, I think for my team it's key is like uh, uh, high motivation to play in here, this event. You know, we set the record with the four World Tours. Last time when we was in Rio, it was not so good. And we just want to prove everybody that uh, we are uh, with the reason number one team in the world. Number eight seed Chicago were dominant in victory over Pelotas from Brazil with Emmanuel Little top scoring with nine points, all from close range. It's good because we advanced to the next round, so that's what we wanted to do. We came out and played hard, played together, and um, we came out still to victory. And finally, the home team Rio scored an impressive win over their upstart countrymen from Anchieta, rounding out the quarterfinals with a 19-13 victory. In the shootout contest, one player per team participates in the qualifying round, with the top four going through to the final. Here players shoot three racks of five balls worth one point each from three different spots behind the arc, and one rack of three money balls worth two points each from the end line, all against a 60-second shot clock. Chicago's Al Stewart was leading the competition with six points when Dejan Meisterovic of Novi Sad Alwada came to the arc. So five points, the winning margin for Dejan Meisterovic. On to the final four, featuring two intriguing matchups. Coming up, an all-Brazilian encounter between Santos and Rio. But first, the top seeds and world number one outfit, Nobisad Alwada, against the number eight seeds from the USA, Chicago. The world's number one team with the world's top four players, Dusan Domovic Bulut, leads the way with 27 points. Dejan Meisterovic, Marko Savic, and the newly married Marko Zadero are Novisad Alwada. In contrast, Chicago are led by a Brazilian, Vincius Cardozo, along with three Americans, Al Stewart, Emmanuel Little, and their top scorer with 20 points so far, Jomarcus Tontone Ellis. This started as a tense defensive affair. With the score at five all, Novisad Alwada in blue decided to up the pace. Ball stolen. The Meister for two. Guess that wanted to drop. He wanted the extracurricular but didn't get it. Here's Tonton. Rebound. The Meister again. Couldn't get that one. But he shoot another one and get it this time. So two quick twos. By Novisad Alwada, and they get a 9 to 5 lead. Despite that offensive explosion, Chicago managed to keep it close and trailed by only two as we rejoin the action inside the final minute. 16 to 14, and bang, bang, big shot by Mr. Bulletproof. They go up by four with 45 seconds to go. Tonton taking it himself, all kinds of dance. They couldn't get the scoop. But they get, they get the point on the steal by Vinicius, 18 and 15, 35 seconds to go. AKA Bulletproof gonna size the man up. Hesitation move, pulls back. Goes right this time. Spins around him, gets it to go. 19 to 15. Here's Ewell. Ewell looking for the pull up two. Off the glass and in, 19 to 17. 
10 seconds on the shot clock. There's a two second differential. No need to foul if you're Chicago so far. But they decide to foul. They decide to foul with six seconds to go. And that will bring Novi Sad Awada to the line to shoot two. For the win right here, Novi Sad Awada 21. Chicago 17, that is our ball game. A prominent member of that defeated Chicago team is Jamarcus Ellis, who had a tough upbringing. I was actually born in the projects of the village, is what we call it, and then um, after my parents passed, my grandma passed, I had moved over there, uh, Fort Tenacosta, which we call it K-Town. It's, it's a very rough area. You know, you just have to keep yourself out of trouble. Like, you know, people try to get you to do things, but it was up to you to make a decision to, you know, better yourself. You know, I use basketball as something to take me away from, you know, all the sorrow and pain that I had from following my parents. And, you know, just as something to take me away from the neighborhood I was staying in. You know, growing up without my dad and my mom, you know, I, I looked to other people for guidance, which I found that in, you know, some of the uh, park district leaders and, you know, people in, um, my high school coaches and things like that. His love of basketball helped Jamarcus escape the project. Me as a player, I was, I was told I'm very unselfish, which I, I, I really am. You know, I play a lot of point guard for me to be my size. I'm 6'5". When I played at Indiana University, I played the one through the four. So, you know, I was just very interchangeable. I look at this as a stepping stone. You know, every time you get a basketball opportunity out the country, anywhere in the States, you know, you always want to want to show up and show out. And Ellis has certainly shown up in FIBA 3x3. He now enjoys being a role model for the sport. Oh, it means a lot, because I'm not just only representing myself. You know, I'm representing Chicago. You know, I'm representing all the youth and all the people and, you know, the kids that look up to me. So I want to be, like, a good, you know, a good representation of where I'm from. The second semifinal looked like a tight all-Brazilian battle between the third and fourth seeds. Although with Novasan Alwada already qualified for the World Tour Finals and Chicago with an inferior win percentage, both teams knew they were Abu Dhabi bound. Santos, the number three seeds, had the second ranked player in Brazil, Guilherme Rojas, along with Luis Soriani, Fabio Santos, and their top scorer with 17 points, Ismar Neto. The home team, number four seeds from Rio, were led by Juninho Mariano Jr., together with Douglas Mata, Carlos Silva Jr., and their top scorer with 22 points, Marcelo Silva. As we join a low-scoring game approaching the halfway mark, Rio and Yellow lead eight to five. Check up top. Carlinho has it. Fakes his man. Step back jumper for two. That's off. Rebounded by Santos. Pick and roll from Guilherme to Ismar. Ismar for two. Bang, bang. They needed that one right back at it. 8-7, 5-15 to go. One point game. Carlinho is nowhere to go. Try to skip the pass. Ismar stole it. Ismar, another two to take the lead. Off the glass and in. And Santos goes up one. Here's Douglas on the left wing. Give it to Marcelo. Marcelo wide open shot. That's long. Here's Carlinhos, fought for the rebound. Fade away jumper. No good as well. Here's Luis. Luis will give it to Ismar. There's a pick from Guilherme. Ismar, another two. That'll be three in a row. That's off. Carlinhos. Swings it to Douglas. Douglas drives down the middle. Feeds it to Marcelo. Marcelo with a strong finish. And a tie ball game, 9-9, 4.25 to go. Here's Luis. Luis goes middles on the right hand take. Feeds it to Guilherme. Guilherme bumps his man down, turn around, hook shot, and good. Marcelo hands off to Douglas. Douglas to Carlinhos. Carlinhos. Five minutes, five seconds to go on the shot clock. Two seconds to go on the shot clock. Turn around, jump is good. Tie ball game with four minutes to go. 
symptomatic of this game, points were hard to come by. And with two minutes remaining, Santos lead 11 to 10. Ismar has it, Ismar going left. Beautiful bounce pass to the roller. That was Guilherme and he gets it to drop. Two point game. Barcelona down the lane. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Luis. Ismar. Beautiful move with the English. Couldn't get it to drop. Guilherme almost had it blocked by Marcelo. Thirteen to ten. Santos lead with 151 to go. Here's Douglas. Those with the ball in his right hand. Try to right hand, right hand take. You don't have anything. Kept it. Strong take with the left now. Good finish. Up playing the only Ismar. Ismar waits a little bit, takes his time. Gets the screen. Loses the ball, loses the handle for a second. But able to recover and feed Guilherme down low, who finishes. And then a foul by Luis. With strong defense from Santos, they survived the final 85 seconds. Rio unable to stage a charge on the scoreboard. Santos advanced to the final 14-12. The Bradesco dunk contest turned into a shootout between two guest dunkers, Arek Aro Shabliski from Poland and the winner of the Prague Masters dunk contest, Ukrainian Dmitry Smooth Krivenko. Dunkers have three attempts to make a jam, which is marked out of 10 by three judges. Best aggregate score wins. First up, Smooth Krivenko. First man up is Smooth. Smooth coming off the angle, throw the ball up to himself between the legs and the reverse. What a dunk by Mr. Smooth. Are you serious? Threw the ball to himself, went between the legs. I got to see that again. Attic Otto. Off the two feet. And the windmill dunk. Gets that in. Eight, a seven, and a seven for a total of 22. Throws back to himself, one-handed, well, the reverse dunk with the one hand. Are you serious? That is some serious stuff, young fella. So hard to do. Otto coming from the right. 360, and the windmills it down. So hard to do. Great dunk. Throw to himself, between the legs and in, jumping over so much. Why you serious, smooth, do your thing, my friend. This is unbelievable. And with that jam, Mr. Smooth could not be beaten, ensuring he walked off with a check for $2,000. So on to the final of the Rio Masters, a rematch of the 2015 Sao Paulo Challenger event, which was won by Novisad Alwada. Santos looking to improve on their runners-up spot from last year's Rio Masters. We join the action inside of seven minutes. Santos in black, trail by two. Eight to six, Novisad with the ball on top. Beautiful curl with the uh, backdoor pass and a beautiful find by Marco on that bounce. Pick and roll comes. They get the ball down low, three seconds to shoot. Two seconds to shoot. Won't get it off in time. Shot clock violation. Nine to six, Novisai Awada. Nine to six, the score. Bulletproof. Tough matchup for Gladney. Fakes goes middle, but actually goes baseline. Just couldn't get the reverse, but beautiful move. Smart player, Mark um, Bulletproof is, just takes his time under control. Marco with the save. Five down the lane, gets the foul. And he shoot one. And the referee actually said, no good, because they did not clear the ball. So it'll be a turnover. The ball goes back to Novisai Awada. You have got to come out with both feet or one feet and another one in the air. 
Shot clock violation. No call either. And so there was no reset on the shot clock. They get six back on the shot clock. And beautiful play. Nice give and go. That's just teams. You know that they, they practice that. That looked too easy. Wide open two. Where is Mark? Couldn't get it to go. And then he bulletproof for two. That's that's wide wide right. 11 to 6, 550 to go. Five to center down low. Gets position, but misses the bunny. He tried to get the ball back, and that's off. It'll be foul the maestro. 11 to 6, 503 to go. No inside Alwada with the lead. Here's Felipe. Pass the ball down low to Guilherme. Marco, Marco for two, for one, excuse me. Off the glass and in. That counts. Bank was open, I guess. 12 to 7. Good job by the Maestro try to get from under Guilherme. And here's Marco. Marco passes to sub zero. Sub zero going down the lane. Smooth going down over there. The ball's knocked out of bounds. You let me going up with the two, can't get it. It's good to be back home here and see a couple of friends around. 13 to ace the score, 414 to go. Shots up by Ismar is good. Up and in. Beautiful backdoor play, and Bulletproof gets the easy bucket. Ismar going down the lane with the shot. Beautiful right-hand take. And looking over to the referee, had a couple of words, and he got hit with the technical foul. Shots up, shots in, counter bucket for Bulletproof. It's a five point lead. Novosad Alwada maintained that five point lead and as the game moved inside the final two minutes, we rejoin the action with Bulut at the free throw line. Balls up and balls in, 19. Two, a minute and 50, uh, 55 to go. Ismar drives right, that's why he had more, more room. Able to gather himself down low. And then just a foul called on Bulletproof. And there will be um, two shots coming for Ismar. Shots up, and it bounces in. Front iron, backboard, and in. Shots up by Ismar. That's also in nylon. Nineteen. They can win the game here with the two. Long bomb. Rebounded. They can win with the game right here for the win in the 2015 Rio de Janeiro title for Novi Side Awada. De Maestro with the bucket for the finish and the 21 to 15 win over Santos. A tournament high 46 points ensured Dusan Domovic Bulut as the MVP. Now let's round out the Rio Masters with our top five plays. At five, a gorgeous spin move in the final, courtesy of the world's number one 3x3 player, Dusan Domovic Bulut. Number four is a monster block from Marcelo Pereira of Rio Preto. At three, Chicago's Jamarcus Ellis tells Bulut, whatever you do, I can do better. Number two is a big two-handed dunk from Roberto Pereira. And our number one play is a sick between the legs playground move from who else? Dusan Domovic Bulu. They call this a Rolinho in Brazil. 
So the qualifying is over. Novosad Alwada are joined by Santos and Rio, together with Manila North, Kranya, Kolobrej, Doha, Ljubljana, Vilnius, Treboblia, Denver, and New York Harlem. Battle will commence in Abu Dhabi.